will be getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with be getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with be getting busy with be She too busy being beautiful, it's busy to be. We busy being busy, baby, that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with be Getting busy with be getting busy with be We busy being brilliant, breaking down your issues with be The best of being busy, baby, that's the way it should be. Tune into my station, baby, and get busy with B. Uh, what we talk about, uh, we can talk it out, uh, ladies' news, advertisement, what we bark about, uh, charity, celebrity, what we talk about, uh, therapy, prosperity, what we talk about, uh, I'm from the nation cap, uh, home of the Nets. We winning on you, Bama's baby, best believe it. We losing all uh, youth to black on black violence with straps. Can't depend on politicians, gotta watch our own back. Put the guns down, youngins, life's about funnin'. Hate to see funerals, but love to give money. Shout out to VA and PG. You see us coming, MDDC. B more, what it do, dummy? Getting busy with B, getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with B, getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with B, getting busy with B. She too busy being beautiful, it's busy to be. We busy being busy, baby, that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with B. Getting busy with B, getting busy with B. We busy being brilliant, breaking down your issues with B. The best of being busy, baby, that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with B. Oh, what we talk about, uh, we can talk it out, uh, ladies news, advertisement, what we bark about, uh. Charity, celebrity, what we talk about, uh, therapy, prosperity, what we talk about, uh, I'm from the nation camp, uh, home of the next. Guys, if you watching me on YouTube right now, by the time you get to see me, I'm hearing the theme music, I'm like, getting busy with me, uh, getting busy with me, so I'm just, I'm in a whole nother, you know, so when I'm coming on, I'm just vibing out, but... Guys, I hope your week was, I won't even say just full of change, full of something that is memorable, full of, hmm, I don't think every day should look the same, okay? But let me just tell you guys just about my my week since I've seen you guys last, okay? So since I've seen you guys last, one of the things I'm dealing with and I just need some assistance on, guys, if you are joining me on Facebook, um, Instagram, and TikTok, you guys can type in. But my daughter has been dealing with bullying, okay? So, I mean, normally I'm coming and I'm happy and I'm proud, but just as a parent dealing with bullying is it's really rough because no no one wants to see that their child is being picked on. <laughs> and then especially if you, it kind of reminds you of a time where you were um, a person that allowed certain things to go down that you shouldn't have allowed. And, and, oh, my goodness. I think one of the greatest examples is just saying, oh, I, you know, you never want to see that with a person you love. So just kind of knowing everything that I know now, it's just like, how do I shake my daughter up out of this? So just an example of just a person going in her bag and taking her things and she done said no. And, you know, what does that, how do we as parents handle that? So my week was full of this, trying to give the right message. Because, I mean, I'm like, baby, act as crazy as the bully. Like, what do you tell your child who is being bullied in that way? So that was just, I mean, am I on the right path with that? I'm like, just act as crazy. So if you act, if you see me asking a question, I'm talking to my producer in the background. I'm going to shout out to Tori. What's your show called, Tori? The download, okay? The download, okay? On Rip Radio Network. Just a great guy behind the, behind the camera most of the time. But, you know, he is supporting me tonight. If you guys do not know, I normally have, like, I mean, I, I think a lot of you, a lot of people, especially people that went to school with me, that know me, they don't expect me to be nervous. 
So, uh, uh, you know, and as much as I feel like I went through enough things, as much as I feel I'm great, I'm enough, I'm strong, I'm bold, you know, every now and again, I get in those little pockets where I'm just like, am I doing the right thing? Did I say the right thing? Or whatever. So I appreciate you helping me, you know, get over this little, get over this little hump. (laughs) I'm getting over a hump right now. For real, you got to be crazy. Basically, be um, assertive. Or yes, I'm, that's, I'm just telling my daughter to be crazy with it. Be super, like just act as crazy as your bully, cause they scared as you scared. They don't know no better. I know I'm not crazy about that. I'm I'm dealing with that, and then I'm dealing with her because she is 12. So she's like, "Mommy, I got this. Mommy, I got this." Hey, we got to work on Phoenix Warrior to the so they all. You say I pray on the first, uh, I pray on the first, then it's on. I be like, God help them. Yeah, you know, I think like a lot. So, guys, what you don't know is I'm I'm doing my first public speaking events, okay, in December in Chicago. Time. Yes. Uh, so it's just like it's something that I always wanted to do and I'm I'm doing it and I'm excited. So I'm practicing to really more so public speak and just, you know, get it all out there. All that good stuff. My girl is in the studio finally. Yay. So we always like to start with the weekend talk. You what well, the weekend talk, but the week talk cuz we don't see each other for a week. We don't pre-rehearse, so if you don't know, we don't pre-rehearse. I like Phoenix um, instill confidence and let her know she got help in all areas. As much as, like today, I'm shouting out to you, Darius. Today, before I let her out the car, we affirmated together. So before you got here, Phoenix, I was just letting the viewers know uh-huh. that I've been dealing with bullying with my baby and, oh, no. and she do have a sister, but for a long time of nine years, she was the only child. Right. And I thought I was teaching her right when I was just like, you know, you know, no, no fighting, you know, whatever yeah. you think you, you know, That's but now I have today. taught her, you know, in a way where this is the same bully from last year. That's bullying my child. She is. So it's just like, yes, Today, before I let her out the car, we affirmated. And my favorite affirmation is, I am enough. I am strong. I yes. am bold. I am courageous. Yes. You know, I am enough. So I made her end with that she's enough. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, yes, I'm I'm trying to do my best to instill confidence and just be a great example now. You know, because mm-hmm. as moms, we're not always yes. great examples. We're Because we're learning. And today's show, guys, is self-love, okay? Mm-hmm. And what does that look like for you? Well, okay. I had to, um, well, first of all, hey, world, hey, 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 world. hey. Mm-hmm. let me turn this mm-hmm. back, mm-hmm. okay? So, um, for me, myself, self-love, um, I can go in different departments. Um, as a child, um, I wasn't getting bullied. I was the bully. And I must say I was the bully because I was so angry at other things because I never expressed myself. And if someone said something wrong to me, I was so quick to fight. You know what I mean? You was a fighter. Can you I, fight, though? Yeah, I can fight. You, Girl, you better ask somebody about no, me. You, you, <laughs> you know how people be thinking they get fight and then they can't fight. And then, like, nah. like my daughter, like, who been bullied? Like, the yeah. person that's bullying her. My, mm. I mean, my daughter's strong, mm-hmm. tall, all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, but, y'all, she's never been in a fight before. See, and the thing is, no matter if she's been in a fight or not, you get what I'm saying? Here's the thing. The re- when I say, when I was in seventh, eighth grade, I used to box that Sugar Ray Leonard. Shout out to that. Oh, okay. she fight. And, um, <laughs> she gonna knock her out. I was always, I never was fighting people my size. I always fought bigger. And I always, like, you know, when it came down to somebody little, I'd be like, man, I'm not about to waste my time with that. I never argued before fighting. I just hit you. Mm. And that was a problem because I never talked 
about <laughs> my problem. <laughs> I never yeah. talked about my problems, you know what I mean, until I actually started going to counseling for anger management, which is nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. um, but the reason why I use the word that I was a bully, because I could have did better than that. I could have talked to a counselor. I could have talked to my parents. Mm -hmm. I could have talked to somebody that I can confine in. You know, I could have went another. Yeah, I could have went another way. So it's, a bully is not always the one that, you know, like just bullying someone I'm going to admit on because y'all know Fiend is going to hit y'all with the truth. Okay? <laughs> yes, I felt like I was a bully because I could have went another way, but as a child, we don't think like that. You know, mm -hmm. all through mm -hmm. high school until I got older, and here's where it backslapped me at, right? My daughter. My kids know all my stories because I've told them. I actually wrote it in the book. Uh, and by the way, it's still in the stores, you guys. The Journey <laughs> of the Unbreakable Warrior. Yes. Um, I did explain all of that. You know what I mean? I fought when I was pregnant. I was 15 and pregnant, oh, wow. right? And a group of girls tried to jump me, but I whooped their ass, okay? Mm -hmm. I whooped two girls out oh, the group. you know what? What I didn't tell Phoenix is that we are shopping certain things for a certain place. Oh, yes, okay. And mm -hmm. she was late, guys. So we going to work mm -hmm. with Phoenix with that, okay? <laughs> But I had to make are, a stop, you know. You know what? I did, I did not give her a pass. Sorry for the stop right there. I gave her a pass. Yeah. Guys, guess what we we're going to do? Thank you so much. We're going to take a break. We did not get our shout outs and stuff. So when we come back, oh, yeah, we're going to give our shout outs and all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Um, we're going to take a quick break here in the studio, okay? Gotcha. Baby, that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with B. Getting busy with B. Getting busy with B. We busy, baby, and brilliant. Down your issues with me. The best of being busy, baby. That's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with me. But what we talk about, uh, we can talk it out, uh, ladies' news, advertisement, what we bark about, uh, charity, celebrity, what we talk about, uh, therapy, prosperity, what we talk about, uh, I'm from the nation, cap, uh, home of the nets. We winning on you, Bamas, baby, best believe it. We losing all uh, youth to black on black violence with straps. Can't depend on politicians, gotta watch our own back. Put the guns down, youngins. Life's about fun and hate to see funerals, but love to give money. Shout out to VA and PG. You see us coming, MDDC. Be more what it do, dummy. Getting busy with B, getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. With me, getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with me, getting busy with me. She's too busy being beautiful, it's busy to be. We busy being busy, baby, that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with me. Getting busy with me, getting busy with me. We busy being brilliant, breaking down your issues with me. The best of being busy, baby, that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with me. Oh, what well, we talk about, uh, we can talk it out, uh, ladies' news, advertisement, what we bark about, uh, charity, celebrity, what we talk about, uh, therapy, prosperity, what we talk about, uh, I'm from the nation, cap, uh, home of the Nets, we winning on you, Bama's baby, best believe it, we losing all youth to black on black violence with straps, can't depend on politicians, gotta watch our own back, put the guns down, youngins, life's about fun and hate to see funerals, but love to give money, shout out. going on we are back in the studio guys and we're gonna start with just some shout outs okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna let phoenix start with her shout out <laughs> shout out of the day we like to give one shout out phoenix not a hundred <laughs> i nobody don't have a hundred i always say shout out to life first yeah you do I, shout I do. out to life yeah okay but no shout out to MK Dean, Mrs. Dean, who had a birthday yesterday, and she is the CEO of Ram Hookah. Y'all make sure y'all go check her out. She had a birthday yesterday, so she is the CEO of Ram Hookah. She also is the CEO of her hair brand, too. So, shout out to Why her. Why you ain't putting nobody onto the head and the hookah? Like, I know. Is the that hookah. the hookah that I love? Yeah. That's the hookah that I love. Yeah. Oh, hookah legit, clean. Okay, you get the fresh. Look, I'm giving. <laughs> 
for her commercial right now, okay? <laughs> she might want to get a spot with the show, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, at, in these days and times we live in, okay? Mm-hmm. Clean hookahs is, is what you need, okay? So I'm just saying, really clean, really fresh, and you feel, yeah, you know, you're feeling real good when you're, you know, getting into the oh, hookah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what you I was got supposed shout out? to know my shout out today. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm going to shout out? Because y'all, if y'all been watching the show from the beginning, y'all know my heart is heavy. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to shout out to the parents that have a connection with their kids. Okay. Mm-hmm. To know what's going on. To kind of push that bullying is not okay. It's or not. I'm feeling the way today. Y'all got to excuse me. Okay. But it's just self love and just self, you know, provision. Mm-hmm. Like I really want to, like, I think as a parent, what I face is when I see my daughter and I'm just like, I really taught her that. You know, she yeah. really reflecting the energy mm-hmm. at a time where I was at the time. It's so scary. I, just, I, I really feel like Zoe, oh, baby, it's okay to show up for yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Act a little crazy. I think bullies be just as scared as we do. They do. And it's, again, as I was saying before we went on commercial, like, um, you know, with... The bullying, I felt like I was like that only because of how I went about things. I could have went way better, you know. Um, When it comes down to um, experience as a mother, my daughter experienced bullying, um, who she is now in ninth grade. I had to go up to the school several times, um, to that middle school. I had to go up several times. My daughter, um, quick little story, she was jumped at Six Flags. Um... Like, around this time, from the little Fright Fest, um, it was about 18 to 20 girls. Um, I don't know if you guys remember where Six Flags had, like, all the kids. I think they said it's, like, purging. Mm-hmm. And um, all the kids, they, like, were busting windows. Yeah, it was a pocket lot. They were busting windows. They were jumping other kids. Well, my daughter was with a group of her friends and also with my goddaughter. And she was minding her business. She had some, like, long braids. Um, One of the girls, well, yeah, one of the girls pulled her braids and, like, pulled her back. But my daughter carries pepper spray on her, okay? So by the time she pulled it out, they had knocked it out her hand. OK, so the her best friend also. So as they all were so that basically everybody was fighting, but they jumped her happened to be, um, you know, if my daughter didn't run. God forbid anything could have happened. Right. And, I think- and that was my first time that I've experienced something like that. When I got the phone call, my heart dropped. No parent want to get a call like that um, from your your kids telling you that. She's calling. Well, first of all, let me tell you how to call when she called and she was like, Ma, I just got jumped. I thought she was playing, right? Because normally we know we joke around. <laughs> no, and, she, you know, we know. Yeah. And so when she called and she was like, so I was like, Morgan, you know, I said, stop playing. And she was like, Ma, and she's crying. I can hear her crying. And I'm just you like, feel it. I feel it through the phone. And at this time, my car was down. Had no car to get mm. to my daughter. So I had to call my best friend. I had to tell her, like, I need you to come. I'm outside. Like, I need an airplane. I need a helicopter. <laughs> a bus, something. I need, Ooh, get that I, need I need to get that. I need to get to my child. Yes. You know, I'm in the middle of the street. I'm stressed out. I'm calling her dad. And, you know, he said, forget me. He rushed to her. And I'm like, I was okay with that because he went straight <laughs> yeah. to her, right? But when we got there, Six Flags from the road beginning, I don't know what road that is, like with yeah, a Chipotle and, yeah, and all, all that. that is. From that road up to all the way past Six Flags a little bit, it, there were a bunch of police officers. The police could not control the kids. It was over a thousand kids. Mm. Okay, they could not control the children. Parents were looking for their kids. It was very dark. We had to use flashlights to look for our kids. You know, oh, I'm worried about trauma. my daughter. That was very big trauma, right? Yeah, that's trauma. And ever since that time, my daughter was never the same. She's always like looking, you know, over her shoulder. She has a problem with trust. You know, when it comes down to that, I'm not in her shoes because guess what? I never jumped nobody, but I've never been jumped. I was about to. But how can I explain that to my daughter? Like, how can I I comfort her? Let me tell you this. I was forced to explain certain things, right? 
Though I never talk bad about, you know, my kids, Mm -hmm. child's father, Mm -hmm. you know, I felt, I feel like even now and I try to build that relationship. Yeah. Who knows? If you guys do not know, me and Phoenix, we do not practice the show. No, we never. So we had another idea for the show today and now here we are. Okay. (laughs) That part. But, um, to talk about when I was younger, um, Certain things you don't share with your kids because guess what? You are different now. It's not that you forget, but it's like you want to paint a picture for them. Yeah. And so I I never ill talk my kids Absolutely. fathers. Mm-hmm. You know, but I feel like he took a time when he was on speakerphone and he was like, Yeah, your mother did this and your mother did that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And said about a point, even though he was wrong from the angle he was coming from, but it was just like more so, it forced me to talk to my daughter about, it forced me to talk to her about fighting and jumping Mm. and, you know, certain Mm -hmm. things like that. And I'm just like, he did that. Like, so what he did, I feel like that was for bad. It really turned out for good. For good. You okay. know, because I didn't even know my daughter was dealing with a bullying situation. And y'all, she been dealing with it for a long time. Wow. I, my daughter so how did you say, find out? Because she told me. She, mm. to, she tells me a lot of things. And she was just, you know, this particular day, she, was, she just told me everything. She told me, you know, point A, point B. And I was like, okay. And then, you know, as you have time to think about it, I'm like, I can't remember the last time my daughter took lunch. With everybody yeah. else. Mm-hmm. I mean, I sent her to school with bags of food, mm-hmm. extra money. So just imagine, like, yeah. she could have been pressing me for money because mm-hmm. she need to give it up. Yeah. And I, I, I don't even know because I'm just like, ugh. So it's just like my heart is broken right now. Yeah. I did not mean and I to go through half of the show <laughs> talking about bullying. But parents, we need to be involved. No. We need to know that, like, you know, every bullying is still a part of self love. Okay. Because yeah. that bully may be going through something at home. They may be they may be going through something themselves. And let me tell you something. I've learned also it's... like when we at lunchtime, those who don't eat, I've noticed, I used to notice that certain people, they don't eat all the time at lunch. You know what I'm saying? And you got some people, they eat at lunch. Like, that's the only time they eat mm-hmm. at school. Mm-hmm. Imagine when they go home mm-hmm. or what they got to deal with. No, that's for still real. a part of self-love. And that's what I'm saying with my child. She didn't always know. Like, mm-hmm. your friends don't have the same qualities of life that you have oh, yeah. you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. so they see things in you that they lack you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i mean my you know you you i drop my baby off every morning you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying that's involvement yeah i drop my so daughter off every it's morning it's just those things mm-hmm. you know you got to think people walk in the school people you know so it's mm-hmm. just certain things like it's just the quality so how do we let everyone know that you know we in this together well i also think um, and I don't know if you will agree or not, but I also feel as though our generation of parents now. Okay. okay. Generation of parents now. <laughs> I'm with our generation of parents now. For example, um, just like you were saying, like, you know, what happened that your um daughter father had ended up saying that and you thought it yeah, was for bad. I, I, so with me, I actually told my kids myself. But then see, I was I like, know. I was like. Why would you bring that up? No, the reason why I'm like, why would now that I've told them, it's just like, well, Ma used to do it when she, you know, hey. though she was like this when she was younger. Oh, but- my daughter was living her best <laughs> life. And I was just like, baby, look, I mean, and it, it was misconstrued. It was like, we jumped these people. No, we didn't. We were sitting in the car. These girls came up and they just started punching. They not like punching in the window. They, we were targets. And then, you know, they was in our neighborhood. So by the time we got out the car to do our dizzle, mm-hmm. okay, it was like it was on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was mm-hmm. just th- that over there. It was it mm-hmm. was like a hundred different situations. Right. But I'm just saying you have to do what you have to do. It's Absolutely. Like I'm not, I've never really been a type to fight, but mm-hmm. I'm not scared. But you're not you scared. And, and there's a like, difference. There's a difference. So that was me. I never started to fight. 
I always it comes my way. Yeah, it, and when it does, I I'm the responder. I say that at this age, still to this day, I am the responder. I'm not going to always start I don't when I learn. When I now when I bring up self love now when I learned how to control my anger when I was in a more happy space when I was more like oh, you know what I really don't have time for this I just want peace you know what I did this was two years ago I picked up the phone and I started to make phone calls to people to make peace like I wasn't even trying to talk about what happened I was just like look whatever happened then happened then. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I just want us to be on a straight road. I got you know a question for that. So now, if you don't know, we're shifting topics. Yeah. Um. Do you feel like we should always, like, you should always make that call? Like, I feel I should, like to no. get peace, I don't always need to make that phone call. You can call. leave it right where it's at. Leave it right where it's mm-hmm. at. And I just feel like when you truly go through s- certain lessons mm-hmm. and you truly tapping into yourself, mm-hmm. um, you trust yourself. And you I do. feel like a lot of times we hold ourselves for things that we are not accountable for. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like, uh, especially walking the path that I've been walking, I'm looking straight at the mm-hmm. camera. It's like, yes, I love myself. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm aware of where I am in that journey. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times when people don't, love their self as much as you or don't even know who they are or mm-hmm. dream walk like they still in the state of mm-hmm. mind that they aren't tuned in tapped in and turned on mm-hmm. they reflect a lot of energy oh, on they you. Do. so i feel like knowing what i know now mm-hmm. i accept people for what it is where they are you know what i'm saying like they can emulate you but mm-hmm. they can't be you see and here's the thing where the phone call came in that it was on the relationship was heavy. These relationships and this like family members, you know what I mean? But also family members can be left where they stand for real. I ain't didn't have to call them. Mm-hmm. But because of the relationships that we had, the relationship that we had, I felt like the right thing to do. And for me to have that peace because it was sitting on me was to make the call. As long as I did my part. Now would I do it again? No. Okay. I feel like, like I wouldn't because it, it did it it, it cuz I don't mean to cut you off but no. it repeated itself, right? Mm-hmm. Same we back at the same place. And let me tell you, I knew you was going to say that without mm-hmm. you saying that because a lot of times you make the call but just because you're ready, listen. That means that they're not ready. They they they, they not ready. So mm-hmm. what I had to learn, okay, family members mm-hmm. is that just because I was ready and just because I mean I want you to see me I want you to know that mm-hmm. I'm your biggest like I'm everything like I've always been that person in mm-hmm. your life like yeah. I wanted to show you something that I never had I've been consistent in that mm-hmm. from when you was like this mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so what I'm saying is you gotta allow people to see you and meet you when you're at, they not going. You can, yeah. for, you can try to force it, right? I've done that. I learned for not years. to force. Yeah, I've learned that, and mm-hmm. I've done it for years. Force it, like see me, see me. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mm-hmm. I love you, girl. I got your back. Like I'm gonna fight for you. Like no, like I always have. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But just because you're in a place, right? That does not mean those people are in a place to see you. Mm-hmm. Can you understand that God is hiding you? Oh, yeah. That they aren't meant to see you? They mm-hmm. haven't had the lessons that they needed to have to meet you where you are. Absolutely. So God is still protecting you, but understanding where they at now. He, mm-hmm. not, be t- he not picking between his kids. Mm-hmm. So when I understood that lesson, mm-hmm. I no longer reach, okay? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm always invited. I choose mm-hmm. to show whatever. I mm-hmm. choose to be with people that want to be, be around with me. You. Mm-hmm. That see me where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. Not hold me to where I used to be then. Mm-hmm. So, I'm saying, like, at the end of the day, if you let go and trust the process. And mm-hmm. truly trust that God is working it out. Mm-hmm. Okay, the universe is working it out. Whoever you believe in mm-hmm. is working out. And everything works out for your good. Mm-hmm. It's all going to come together. It will. And then you're going to be like, it Look will kind of get, it will come together like you know as again I was at a space where so things were going so smooth I was at peace I'm like oh you know you couldn't even you know I still get upset but I wasn't I don't respond I just be like you know what I ain't got to say nothing so I just wasn't saying nothing but now now I look at it to be like first off 
I use the words untouchable, right? Unbreakable. I say unbreakable. Unbreakable. <laughs> untouchable. Yes. I use these words because I cannot be broken. Now I've been broken, mm -hmm. but I got put. I I pieced myself back together, you got to. and I built myself stronger as concrete. I, I right? always say unbreakable because it's I, like I, you I say be that. broken, but that unbreakable. But you know what? You have to learn how to own up. And people don't, not everybody know how to own up. And that's where the friendships or relationships or whatever come in at. Whereas though, like, why should I have approached? Why should I approach you? You know what I'm saying? Why should I approach you first? Well, I always got to go to you first. It's always I'm going to you first. Obviously, you don't take heed or take pride or even cherish what we had. Because I'm the one that's always thinking have like that. Or have. Yes. You know? You know? And I just feel like I've learned a lot of life lessons and I'm still learning. Because I, I, I feel like even, I'm going to say this on live while we even speaking about this. I still feel like I'm missing something. Right? I feel like can I'm I missing give, it. Can yeah. I give you tough love though? Yeah. Can I give you tough, tough love? Mm -hmm. and, like one thing you should know about me is just like the love is real. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times if I speak from something, mm -hmm. I'm passionate about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I'm saying anything is, it starts and ends with you. Yeah, like, it does. It, I, it was moments in my life that the minute that I took accountability, right. Mm -hmm. I had started a lot of on my self healing journey. I started to meditate. I started to affirmate. When I started to affirmate, y'all, I ain't believe half of the stuff I was saying. <laughs> okay. I'm just letting you know, women like out there, like guys start somewhere, you know what I'm saying? I was dealing with things that I should have never dealt with you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying but i didn't value myself like on the outside it looked good mm -hmm. i was driving the latest cars living in you know mm -hmm. you know the house everything looked good my body looked good all mm -hmm. of that mentally was i structured was i mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. and i feel like i didn't get the lessons at the time and mm -hmm. i just feel like the more lessons that i got the more understand, and I stop going outside of myself. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of times we call them friends, we call them ex for advice. Mm -hmm. They be so more messed up than you. Exactly. So I feel like what self love look like to me mm -hmm. is really going within. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You gotta really go mm -hmm. within. It's not outside of you. The but moment I, I stop looking outside of me, it I was, understand that, but also. This As I said, also, when it comes down to that, especially for those who deal with way beyond this world, like, first of all, the way I think, I think beyond this world, there is another universe, there's, there's things beyond this, okay? So the way how I think is where as though I had so much healing to do. I had so much healing to do, so much healing to do before I was able to even give someone else advice, okay? I was, I had to heal myself. Mm. I had to go through this. I go through these storms. I'm dealing with, first of all, like today, for for example, I had a doctor's appointment. You know, today on a gloomy day like this, on rainy days like this, I'm dragging. I'm like going through this. I'm going through that. And I don't feel too tight. But guess what? I still put on my big girl panties on and still come in here and I still got to put a smile on my face. But and here it's so busy it's traffic mm -hmm. it's traffic it's no it's like everything like just like traffic on the road you know it's what? traffic you know what i hope that coming here because i know when i show up here and mm -hmm. i'm in those funks mm -hmm. um i hope that you know i bring a great positive energy it does. and that you know coming to do this because mm -hmm. what it did for me years ago it saved my life mm -hmm. you know knowing that i had looked forward to this when i really first started out podcast and i think a lot of you guys see a lot of slow part of it mm -hmm. now you know because i'm figuring me out i don't have nothing to prove i i'm really not putting it out there so much i'm getting calls though mm -hmm. but i'm saying like really just figuring me out mm -hmm. being able to show up for myself and one thing i could say phoenix i'm so proud of you 
for showing up, mm-hmm. you know, because that's the hardest part when you don't feel like, mm-hmm. it, you know, but mm-hmm. like when I get to come on and be busy with me, like I don't care about the views. I don't care. And that's about how I am. None of that. Mm-hmm. It's just like the fact that I get to do this and I could do whatever I want to do with the video. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I bring women together. I bring people together and it's just a good thing. To, it's therapy. It is therapy. The and that's why I don't mind doing it. it Cause this is, life. this is, this is a break for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. But also, also, it's a break for me, but it's just like the way how like it makes me I I grow. We grow. Oh, Illinois, we I'm we sorry. we do our, my growth. There's growth within every single day. Right. And this is where I'm at the point where I'm like, you know, there's a lot of judgmental people in this world. And you know what? I'm not the one for you because you, you got to read the book first. Read me. But you know what I mean? Let me tell you what I understand and what I understand because of everything I've been through. Mm-hmm. When you truly tune in to yourself. And yeah. You tapped in to I don't yourself, care what nobody say. Tune in, tapped in and turned on. That's what I say. I learned it from a great mentor. But tuned in. Topped in mm-hmm. and turned on, you know how like you get that nudge. If mm-hmm. it don't feel right, it's not right. Oh yeah, I'm, and I'm and I'm gonna tell you if it ain't right, or I'm gonna just walk away, or you ain't gonna see me. Right. And Sometimes you know I don't need to say no words. Silence when I'm quiet. Okay. When I am quiet, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, I mean it's just, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I used to, hide, <laughs> like, I'm telling you, I used to hide a, a, a behind a lot of my friends, right? Mm-hmm. And this this is what I'm saying, how I recognize my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Going through the phase she going through now. She, she's, I'm sorry, y'all, it's happy I went in the studio, guys. If you <laughs> see me going <laughs> a little bit of this and a little bit of that, it's happy I mm-hmm. But this is why I'm saying I see her. Because I was her, mm-hmm. you know, and I and a lot of women that I relate to, mm-hmm. I was them. I'm never judging, you know, mm-hmm. and it's just like a lot of times, like I say, because of what you reflect mm-hmm. on the outer, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the inner. Oh, yeah. It's all about, it is. you know, really, truly getting those lessons and tune in and tap into yourself. So I already look at myself lessons. as I am a diamond. Okay, I shine when I come in the room, all eyes on me, and I'm fine with that. Look at me, y'all. Yeah, Let me get that, that part. part. You know what I'm saying? Because I am confident. I am proud of who I am. I'm proud for where I am coming from, where I came from. And it's not like I grew up like all rough or whatever. It's just the fact that I made some choices. These are choices that I made that mm-hmm. I had to fix. That I had to deal with. That I had to say, you know. If I ask you one question, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know where your honesty look like with that. But I will always say, you know, did you have the parents that speak over you? That tell you at an early age mm-hmm. that you are enough. You beautiful. No. Let me tell you, and y'all know I'm honest, so you're going to get the answer. Now, I didn't have them tell me, like, how you're doing with your daughter. Like, I I do that with my daughter. You know, I tell her how beautiful she is. Right. But you got to understand, I'm coming from an African home. They don't got time for that. Okay. Right. But listen, we n- none of us do. Mm-hmm. Not to interrupt. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm saying that to say that. The great thing that happened Mm -hmm. is that we transitioning. Oh, yeah. You know, meaning that what we did not learn then, Mm -hmm. however we able to get there, Mm -hmm. that I'm able to give that to my kids. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What I also learned is no right or wrong way. Oh, no, there's not. There's no right or wrong. It's your way. It's your way. And you got to trust. Like, the more you trust yourself, the more you talk. We can talk. I so good to Phoenix. I'd be like, Phoenix, you are a beautiful girl. I love you. Like, when you hear, like, I just feel like, but I needed to talk kind to of myself. Mm-hmm. So, you know, unpronounced to you, self love looks like this to me today. <laughs> I was like, you know what? We're not going to wait. I'm going to go on. Yes, before, and like, I'm Phoenix. so proud of you. That was like my thing. You know, yeah. I just really want to know that, you know, I'm practicing what I preach that, yeah. you know, I'm enough, you know, that mm-hmm. like, regardless of what it's, it's all working out for our good. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. And it's all life lessons. Everything we, you know, how we go about life, what we do in life is all life lessons. I feel like if I didn't have those hiccups or I didn't mess up, that I wouldn't be where I'm at sitting in the chair it right now. It's all about the hiccups. Yeah. Though. It ain't about nothing else. But yeah. The 
it, it, and the reason why I say that is if we say lessons, right? It's mm-hmm. about the lessons. I, I feel like if you don't get the lessons, how do you know? How do you know what to, absolutely? And how do you, and first of all, there's no manual to being a parent, okay? I just feel like, like, and I'm gonna let me vent just, just, just one minute. Go ahead, you can vent for one minute. So, like, <laughs> so, like, um, My daughter, who is now, you know, she's a teenager. I just feel like this attitude, you know, like female attitude, okay? Oh, Oh my God. Like, I be wanting to go off, but I had to... No, and okay. I, I don't. I I'm don't. I'm just asking what you do because I'm no. I I'm don't. I, I say and honestly, I just like check it right then and there. But I feel like if I'm just, I'm feel like now I'm just like okay. So now she ain't listening. For instance, Ma, can I go to this? And I'm like, your room clean. You do her thing, yeah. And I be like, okay. So you know, I trust her word, right? She done gone out the door, but the room still a mess. She done fixed the bed, right? I but deal the, with that at but twelve. But the comforter, the comforter over the bed. But when you lift that comforter up, that comforter is like, what in the world? All the clothes under there. But let me oh, tell I, you, she has been a teenager. Okay, oh, I just say, me out. listen, I, I love to it. Learn the cleaning. But do this make you I, okay? So now we talking about self love. But do this put you in a place where you respect mama? Do you respect your mom? Yes. Okay. I call yes. my mama and apologize to her. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm saying because I'm telling you, my daughter has not hit thirteen yet. But seeing her blossom into her own, mm-hmm. you know, and oh my gosh, y'all, she can never watch this show because she's gonna be like so embarrassed. Mm-hmm. But just seeing her come into her own and challenge me, like, Ma, I got this. I wanna handle this on my own. I don't, Ma, I know you love me, mm-hmm. but I don't want you to Absolutely. contact the school. I got this. I'm oh, gonna figure she this out. Like my daughter, when and she was she, being bullied, and she, I'm like, I'm gonna go out to the school, and I'm like, she was like, Ma, you gonna make situations worse, and I'm like, what do you mean I'm gonna make the situations yeah. worse? And she's like, No, you can't come up there. I can handle myself. You can't come up there. And they're gonna be like, Oh, she went and got, she went and um got, got her, her mother. And see, my daughter won't tell me all that. She will tell me things, and what I don't want to happen is to break that and miss that because we've always mm-hmm. had that. So it's just like, I mean. Yeah, it's difficult. You know what I'm saying? But I respect my... I mean, it's different for me. My mm-hmm. mom is a great grandma. Mm-hmm. Like, shout out oh, yes. to yes. my mommy. Okay, my mommy I love you so much. I'm mm-hmm. so appreciative to still... Like, you my best friend. Like, I love you so much. Um, I may... Ha- I just appreciate her so much. But just knowing everything that I know, it just... If I'm going to respect anybody, I could respect, like, my oldest sister was my mom. Mm-hmm. She raised us. She taught me how to wear my first pad. Like, mm-hmm. she was there because I, I'm, you know, that's I'm so an funny 80s you baby. Said, that's, so, that's so funny you said that. I'm an 80s baby. So, my sister is really, like, she was my mom. Before, mm-hmm. I mean, even though my mom was there, she protected me in my earlier years. Mm-hmm. I, I I mean, it's just like I forgive her. I love her. I don't hold any of that ill mm-hmm. will. I'm just grateful to still have her because who she is now is mm-hmm. not, not who, who she, she was, was then. And, mm-hmm. and she didn't know. And mm-hmm. she still don't know a lot of stuff. Like, mm-hmm. when you think of the commercial when they frying the egg. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that's the time I grew up in. So it's mm-hmm. just like more so... You know, I just, I'm just appreciate, I'm, I appreciate my mom, but mm-hmm. I want to appreciate my mom's. Like, mm-hmm. shout out to, I call Aww. her Sister Lassie, mm-hmm. because that was like my second mom. She had me in church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, mm-hmm. like all of that. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, yeah, do you, re- I, I respect my mom a lot more now. Yeah, me too. Uh, me and my mom relationship, and shout out to my mother, um, me and my mom relationship now, Mm -hmm. is the best like that's my best friend you know i can tell her everything i could talk about my men problem i could talk about my friend problem i could just and she's gonna give me the best advice and the first thing she's gonna say is did you pray today Mm. you need to pray so what i am gonna do you guys you guys would not be seeing me drink okay oh that's why you ain't buy your wine okay 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 I'm going to drink. I'm just fasting. I'm going to start fasting, you know, with prayers and stuff. I need to get, I need to sink in with that, um, you know, to clear my mindset. We could have had a sober show today. We could have had a sober <laughs> show today, okay? But I didn't get the memo. <laughs> I 
did yeah. not get the memo. Okay, I, look, we could have had a, we had could have had not a happy hour today. We could have pre-named it. We could have named it again. Yeah, no, it's fine. You know, it's fine. But you know what? You gonna? I have to kind of tap in and tune in just the words of yours mm-hmm. to you know into another part of me. Okay, okay. because you know I. My mama pray for me all the time. I know she's going to continue to pray for me, but I need to Do pray for myself. Do you meditate, self. though? I try meditating, and it's like I can't concentrate. No, so you So my best friend, she shout out to you, girl. She um she meditates, but she sends me, she be sending me all this stuff, okay. like music, you so know. So can we try this? Like, can you get best friend? I need to meet this best friend, because <laughs> on this show, she's my best friend. Okay. <laughs> So listen, I love to meditate, and I used to be just like you. I could not quiet my brain. I could not listen to myself. I used to look for everything outside of me. Mm-hmm. I was not enough, and I didn't even know. You know, mm-hmm. I thought, you know, I'm busy. I, I was talking. Even before I was busy and I was just be. Mm-hmm. I was always in everybody's business but mm-hmm. my own. So mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, forgive me for that. It's time to move on, you know, that <laughs> type of thing. But it's just like, girl, meditation mm-hmm. Save my life. Mm-hmm. Affirmate. Affirmate, Medita- yes. Meditation, I haven't tapped in so much. That's but as far as I need to learn how to do, you know, yoga. Whatever like your vice is. If you is. feeling yoga, then go with yoga. I, I don't care. Like, Baby, in. I can't stretch. <laughs> I, I don't want to do none of that. No more. I, I just want to sit. Learn. I love the dark. I love the dark. Oh, can we go on a meditation date? I got a perfect date for us. You got to try to meditate. It's, I'm telling you guys out there, if you have not tried meditation, right, the quiet your mind, truly tune in. I mean, I was able to leave people alone. Like, I literally walked out their house and never talked to them again because I knew how to, like, once I started mm-hmm. meditating, God showed me who people was. I mm-hmm. couldn't see them on my own. You know, it's still things I have to learn, but meditation saved my life. And that's all I'm saying. It's a, we still learning. We still learning. So what we going, what we got going on next week? You know, we go with the flow. Oh, you know what? Next week we are taking a break. I just found out from Tori that we are going to be out of the studio next week. But that does not mean that maybe that should be a loving and free show in the studio. <laughs> so I think like if we're not gonna take a break, I feel like we're on a good little road. But mm-hmm. we have six more shows before twenty twenty three. So we yes. need to get ready. So we taking a break before we come back. I'm excited about yeah. the break, but because it allows me to get in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Phoenix is gonna be in in the den, in the loving and free uh, okay, den. Okay, okay, okay. Next week we're gonna be in the loving and free den because I, I feel I feel like we gotta keep the momentum. Going. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm with it. All I'm right. with it. Okay. I like that girl we met too. So that's what we're gonna do mm-hmm. next week. I'm, I mean, we gave up all our shout outs. You got oh yeah, no, 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 no. Just shout out to y'all. Matter of fact, shout out to the oh. IG. Shout out to TikTok. Oh, you know what? All I need to. I want you guys loving it free, nonprofit guys. Please go over to their website, donate, help us get things out for the holidays. I needed to shout out the loving and free nonprofit guys. Everything we doing is self love, self healing. And self-preservation that we can be great No matter where we're from You are everything you need to be And as I end the show I am enough Okay <laughs> Yay peace Getting busy with B Getting busy with me I'm too busy being beautiful Loving and free Getting busy with B Getting busy with me Loving it free. Getting busy with B. Getting busy with B. She's too busy.